Welcome to the InfoWars 2015 Global War Chest Gathering, Operation Money Bomb. Again, it was a InfoWars listener that came up with the first Ron Paul Money Bomb idea in Obama's first election. And our listeners raised Ron Paul more than two million of the three million he raised with the Money Bomb slogan. And then the listener, a few months later, said, you need to raise money for your TV radio operation. And I said, I don't want to get bigger. And they said, well, get ready. We're going to send you some money. And they launched it, promoted it. I didn't even promote it. And four hundred, five hundred thousand dollars $500,000 came in. That money helped us move in to the studio we're sitting in right now. It was that control room, the radio studio, and this was a InfoWars journalism room with writers, graphics people, and customer service in this space that we now have the main TV studio in. Then I rented out the next building over and then the building beside us. And in the last eight years, we've gone from reaching a couple million people a week to reaching over 20 million people a week. We've played some of those promo videos showing our warfare effect using information warfare, the truth, against the New World Order. Devastating numbers. 1.4 to 1.6 billion reached every month via social media. That's people actually watching or reading the material on just the main social media that we tracked. A half a billion views on YouTube every year through the hundreds of channels that carry the information. Billions, of course, on our channels alone. Um, it just goes on and on. But we're not up here twerking for the public. We're not, and we don't care about twerking. We're not saying that's bad. We're just saying that doesn't matter in the final equation. We're not up here talking about what color underwear some movie star is wearing. We're talking about poison in the vaccine. We're talking about cancer viruses added to the vaccine. We're talking about GMO. We're talking about chem trailing, geoengineering. We're talking about our government funding ISIS. We're talking about our, fund, our government funding Al-Qaeda. We're talking about world government and the push by the Vatican for planetary tyranny. And you notice everything we talked about 20 years ago, 15 years ago, 10 years ago, five years ago, a year ago, six months ago, is now happening. The New World Order made a very, very serious miscalculation. They thought through their mainstream media mind control domination, they had people. And to further grease the skids of their own bureaucracy, they wrote books, they wrote countless white papers, and they admitted about 95% of their agenda. Their entire depopulation agenda, their world government agenda, their end of the family agenda, it's all laid out. And so we're able to then get that intel to the public. And first, it was mainly military vets and cogitors, researchers, academics that were concerned with our information. That was researched by us in many cases, but also from other folks that were concerned in the decades past. But now the general public themselves are into studying the conspiracy culture. They're into studying not trusting the system and questioning. They're into reality. And so when I talk about the success of InfoWars.com, the syndicated radio show, the nightly news, the documentary films, and all the things we do, the news websites, the huge success on social media, Twitter, the Facebook, the YouTube, and hundreds of other platforms conservatively, from everything from Periscope to Facebook mentions, when I talk about that success, that is your success. Because I had confidence, I knew history, I knew I was right. I knew I was taking action. I knew that the people had power. But many of you sitting alone in your home in a rural area or in a big city high rise or in a foreign nation, you had to believe in us and you had to believe in yourself as well, knowing that by taking action, you could change the future destiny of this world for the better. But even if you didn't succeed, you weren't going to lay in the ditch to an obvious oppressive sharkish evil and bow to it, you had that indomitable fighting spirit that has lifted up and buoys humanity so much throughout history. So for myself and the amazing, amazing crew that made all this possible behind the scenes and on the set, I want to salute you from the info war because you don't stand behind us, you don't stand beside us. 
quite frankly, you stand at the very heart of this operation and you stand in front of us. Because you defend us, you support us, you stand with us, and Lord knows we're not perfect, any of us. We're just flesh and blood like you. But we're part of this together. We are a family of black people, Hispanics, Asians, white. It doesn't matter. We're all humans. We got big hearts. We got red blood. We love our children. We love justice. It is so incredibly touching when a lady, a black lady, she told us her story, called up the toll-free line to buy $1,000 worth of products and to make a $1,000 donation on top of it, even though she's an old retired woman from Detroit. But she did it because she believes in what we're doing. Let me tell you something. I believe in what you did. And you've got a commitment from Alex Jones. I will take every dime that comes in from this money bomb, and it will go into a specific account directly to fund the syndication of TV and radio and the production and the satellites and the closed captioning to reach out to the world and massively increase what we've done. Because if we had the, the staff and the crew to really go back, they've done a great job. They've done the job of 200 people, 50 people done it. We would go back and show you where we came from, where I came from 20 years ago, and imagine where we're going in the future. And yes, we may become such a threat to the establishment, they come after us. They've already done that in many ways. And every time we get attacked, it has some effect. But then all these other doors open, and such good things begin to happen. And that's called providence, because the globalists aren't God. They just think they are. So the truth is, we're going to stand with humanity, because we're part of humanity. And we don't sleep good at night when we don't fight hard enough against these people screwing folks over. It makes me physically ill to think about how they're targeting everybody's children for abortion. It makes me physically ill when I know they could have good, safe vaccines that help people. Instead, they weaponize them on purpose to brain damage the population and, and sterilize them. It makes me sick. And that's why I come in here every day for three, four, five hours on air and many hours behind the scenes to fight the New World Order and to take on the research and the focus into this evil, even though I want to get away from it. I want to ignore it. I don't want to have to focus on it. But you know what? It's not giving me any rest. It's not stopping. It's not leaving me alone. It's coming for me and my family. It's coming for you and your family. And that's why we've all got to commit and get honest with ourselves and admit this bully isn't going away until we stomp his ass into the ground. And you do that the 21st century with information and the truth. And you do that with the commitment to never back down and let the chips fall where they may. But know this, they could throw me in prison next week. Know this, they could, they could blow up Austin next week. They could shut down all the media. They could have a nuclear war, whatever. But in the final equation, I'm not saying that's going to happen hypothetically. In the final equation, what matters is our heart. And I've done what I need to do to be able to sleep at night. I've done what I need to do to look my creator in the face. I've done what I need to do to know I'm not signed on to all this eugenics. I'm not signed on all to this super hyper New World Order racism that's all hidden. I'm not part of this wicked agenda. I don't serve the devil and his minions. And that's what matters is that I'm on the right side of history. No matter how this fight at this level ends up going down, I have got my soul in the right place. And that's why I want to commend and salute the amazing men and women of the planet that have supported InfoWars from its inception in Austin, Texas, about five miles from me, directly north from where I sit in a little access TV studio in North Austin. When I first made documentary films in 1997, that was the first money we got in to be able to fund building an organization. The little VHS tapes and the handmade documentaries. When I say handmade, I did it on old 70s, three-quarter inch tape that you had to cut with a machine and splice together with a machine the first few years till they got newer stuff that was from the 80s where it was still three-quarter inch tape but basically was able to cut reel-to-reel. -reel. And you know what? It didn't matter if I was using caveman technology with no training but a VHS camera dumped onto those tapes. Films like America Destroyed by Design and Police State 2000 were copied from VHS to VHS and a 
very conservative estimate is more than 5 million copies of those each of those early films was put out at grassroots level. I could walk into a gas station in Arizona or a bookstore in upstate New York. I could walk into a gas station that had a thrift shop on the side of it in the hill country outside Austin and find my films where people made dubbed copies and were there giving them away to people. And it's that spirit that helped create the original awakening that helped create a base audience for us to be able to go to the next level. And now to put a satellite up, which we've now turned on, a feed to reach North America, and then as that becomes successful, to put up satellite links that cover the entire world over Latin America, over Asia, over Africa, over Europe. We will be able to reach that goal, and our goal isn't going to be to sell aspartame-filled Diet Coke and GMO Pop-Tarts to people in the Middle East and Africa and Europe and Asia and Latin America. Our goal will be to beam free to air four hours of my radio slash TV show every day, one hour of the nightly news across the world. And will that save the planet putting that out to tens of thousands of TV and cable systems, thousands of which are guaranteed to end up picking it up? Will InfoWars, doing the equivalent of what Russia did, launching RT, save the planet? No, it won't. But that will and that example and knowing that others are doing what they're doing at the local level, at the international level, at the national level, at the school level, at the church level, at the community level, voting with their dollars, speaking out, taking action, not submitting to tyranny, standing up for what's right, defending the innocent, that chain reaction will, with God's divine grace, save this planet. And make no mistake, the enemies we fight are not atheists, ladies and gentlemen. They are occultists of the highest order who want to keep the spiritual truths from you so they can blind you that you're not aware there's a spiritual war going on. Make no mistake, they know what they're doing. But the people are hungry for the truth and they're ready. And So many good people are guilty. So many good people listen to the world and it teaches them to be self-hating because good people have a conscience and good people aren't arrogant. But don't listen to those that are consciously evil telling you you have no place to speak out or get involved. It doesn't matter how pretty the packaging is. It doesn't matter if you got all your facts straight. It doesn't matter at the end of the day if you aren't 100% perfect because nobody is. What matters is we know this new world order is out to get us. We know this globalist system is anti-human. We know this new world order tyranny is bringing in something absolutely nightmarishly hellish. And we know in our gut we know in our soul, the only thing that makes us feel whole, the only thing that tells us we're on the right path, the only thing that gets our spirit lined up with God is saying no to this evil and that we're not going to be part of it and that we're going to fight back against it. And that's what it comes down to in the final equation. We're not going to die in the ditch on our knees licking boots. We're going to stand up and fight, but we're going to fight smart. We're not going to go out and shoot cops because George Soros has groups funding organizations promoting that. We're not going to go out and bomb the White House because some puppet's in it. We're not going to go out to where John Boehner, the New World Order Republican, lives and go after him because he's just a zombie as well. But we're going to expose them as the devilish, deceitful, hateful frauds they are. And we're going to expose who their masters are. We're going to expose the five big banks that pull the strings. And we're going to expose the international agenda to destroy our families and shut off our factories and shut down our power plants and wage war against free humanity. And we are going to be a big part worldwide of forming the catalyst that it takes to bring down this world government in its infancy. The globalists want to abort free market. They want to abort our children. They want to abort our souls. They want to abort this world and create a new creation of genetic engineering and their image where the elite merge with machines and become gods. What a delusional, stinking fraud. Their system is bound from the beginning to fail. But it won't fail if we don't stand up and offer the alternative.